Welcome to another GA Canine training video, folks. This morning we're going to be working on a uh, stairway to heaven exercise. This is an advanced evasion technique of training that we use for uh, more veteran dogs. It allows the dog to learn through self-discovery various different problems that he might encounter in the form of scent pools that are created sometimes knowingly and other times unknowingly by victims and subjects whom we hunt. Trails are very rarely just straight left, right, and then somebody hiding behind a tree in real life. There's always something going on. You actually have to train for real life, and Stairway to Heaven is one way to do that. It's very easy to train a dog for counter-seer training. Um, whether somebody is experienced and knowledgeable in trying to escape from a dog or has no experience of training whatsoever, um, it can still be a daunting task if you haven't trained for basic evasion techniques because humans do these things naturally. A lot of times they're not knowing how to do it. Uh, but if you have any modicum of training, uh, it can really, really set the dog back if, if you haven't worked with him on any of these problems. got a brief recording of the trail air actually laying his trail here. Uh, he just got done doing a portion of the stairway to heaven that we're working on and now he's going to do a small water crossing. Now what I want you to pay attention to is exactly how this trail air does this. As he's walking to the water, he's anticipating where to stop. He touches a small bush here, thinks about crossing, continues past this red bush and then hops over. This is important. I want you to pay attention to this location when the dog comes in here shortly thereafter. This is the spot right here. Red's moving in to the small little creek crossing. He gets to the edge close to the bushes that uh, our trail air had touched and detects odor on the other side. He crosses over to check it out, but this is what's interesting. He's not picking anything out. Now this is really important for the handler to be patient, take his time, and most importantly, stay on the other side of the creek because a lot of times the dogs will not commit immediately. However, if you push across too soon, you could make the dog get off the track and actually lose it right at the water crossing. This is a lot of times why we lose water crossings. It doesn't take long to, for Red to figure out the actual crossing point. It's almost at the exact spot where our trail layer did cross over. Here's the second leg of the Stairway to Heaven by GPS, and this is what our trail air did. This line, or this triple laid line, is about 100 meters. Okay, now we're getting into the second section of our Stairway to Heaven. This is a triple laid backtrack. This is where the trail air 
walks from one point to another, which is approximately 100 yards, uh, backtracks along the same track, backtracks to the beginning of his part of his backtrack, does it one more time, and on the third leg, he'll move off on an oblique angle to the right or the left of his originally laid track and start in a completely new direction. Now what we want to do is we want to watch how Red is working this. He's been through this already a couple times. We've been working on these evasion tactics all day. This is the last, let's say, kind of a graduation trail. In the beginning, this problem took him anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes just to solve this one element. But in this situation, it's just a matter of a couple minutes. And you're going to watch how he does this. He's at the end of the leg of the first backtrack. And as he's canvassing this, it's almost like the gears switch on. He's going to turn around, start coming back, and then he detects the exit trail from a distance and runs straight for it. It's actually really nice to watch. Here it comes. Get ready. This is the third leg of the Stairway to Heaven, and we have concentric circles, again, out anywhere from 75 to 100 meters. The trail layer needs to lay uh, approximately five circles and then exit some point from this trail. Now we're getting into the last and the final leg of the Stairway to Heaven. This is a last uh, obstacle from a scent perspective. It's a big, massive scent pool, concentric circles out to a, about 100 meters. And again, Red's been through this several times. This is his last exercise of the day. The whole idea is we wanted consecutive training sessions that he learned from on his own through self-discovery and without any help. And in that way, he actually learns and he hardwires these problems into his little pea brain. Um, what's really nice about this situation is he solves this massive scent pool far faster than he just did the last one. Pay attention. It's really cool to watch.
Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this Tracker School video. If you like what we do, if you want more of it, make sure that you check out our website. More importantly, if you want some of the best training on the planet today for tracking, come to our school, the Tracker School on Edisto Island.